Hello, welcome to CART Marketplace Management. Today, I'll be walking you through a quick demo to showcase some of the key features and capabilities of the platform. We'll start here on the dashboard that showcases some high-level information about what's going on inside the platform and inside your business. So things like revenue, and you can select different date ranges, days left to ship orders, top selling products, as well as activity happening inside of the platform. I'll quickly move over to our products workspace where sellers manage their catalog and spend a lot of their time in the platform. When it comes to managing your catalog inside of Marketplace Management by cart, it's really easy to select a product and then manage all of the data about that product, particularly where that product will be listed, what data will be sent out to the channels and which data, which channels that data will be sent out to, things like images, inventory, and price. If we start here on sales channels, we can select where this product is selling. We can quickly generate categories with AI for channels that we may not have previously categorized. Once we hit that button, we will be hit with suggestions based on data from CART's own database, as well as data returned from the marketplaces. Once a product has been categorized, we can then move on to the properties tab in order to manage the data that's being sent out to each channel. CART will present the required properties going out to a channel, the recommended properties, and you will also have the ability to manage and add additional properties or attributes based on the channel's marketplace capabilities and their available attributes. Here you will see that attributes like title and description will be shared out across each channel so that if you input this information one time, it goes out to every channel that you have this product categorized and ready to list to. You don't have to duplicate input unless you want separate information on a per channel basis. And again, we will surface recommended attributes and additional attributes. These attributes are all based on the category. Moving forward, images will also live in Seller Active. You can upload these directly from your computer or via URL. You can also manage inventory directly in the software. So if you have inventory at a fulfillment center like FBA or WFS, that will be pulled in automatically, as well as the fulfillment cost. You can also manage your inventory at your warehouse, which will be shared out wherever this product is listed. And as products sell, we will update all of these inventory numbers, particularly those at your warehouse to keep inventory in sync. You can also link up with 3PLs like Deliver or warehouse management softwares like SKU Vault. On this listing details tab, you can manage price. You can have one price for your product that will go out to every channel. So if we set a price here, that will be shared across all of our channels, or we can manage channel specific pricing to make the most profit on a given channel and take into account their fees, our product cost, as well as fulfillment cost. And we could alter this pricing for certain channels to increase our profit. Lastly, on the listing statuses tab is where we can manage where this product is actually going to be published based on the data that we filled out. If we have any incomplete data, we can go back in to correct that and then quickly publish this product. There are also ways to publish products in bulk, and I'll move quickly to our listings tab to showcase that. On our listings tab, we will see all of our products broken out into their listings across the different channels, and we can quickly make updates to things like price pricing strategies for repricing, and other attributes. We can also quickly filter for products that are ready to publish and be pushed out to the channels, or we can quickly select all and then hit the publish button. We will also see products that may have any errors being returned from the channels, preventing them from being published. Next up is our orders section. In the orders section, you will see all orders from all marketplaces coming into marketplace management by, by cart. We pull in all of the customer information that is shared with us from the channel, as well as some accounting information that is rolled up and aggregated into our different reports, like our profit by product report, our profit by channel report, as well as our buy box and product opportunities report. In our tools section, we have things like our pricing strategies, which is CART's built-in repricer that allows you to reprice on all of the channels that we support to do things like win the buy box or mirror pricing from another channel. There's also a lot of other ton, a ton of other cool and interesting features inside the platform. But for now, we'll close the demo here. If you have any more questions, please feel free to book some time with me, Renato, or the team. Thank you.